Hello, my name is Nisha Holmes. I work at Analysis Prime as a senior consultant on the experts team, and today I'm going to explain one of the new enhancements for first quarter 2024 release. And um, this pertains to uh, the ability to um, their support now for dimension property support for comments. So if we take a look at the tables here, I have two tables that I've set up. And uh, you can see the two dimensions I have here are measures and product. Uh, same with below. But in the upper table, you can see I also have included the dimension property or a property within the dimension of the product. So if I <clears throat> click on that table and I over here you can see under properties I have selected new products and here in the lower table I don't have that included. I've also included a filter for the the dimension excuse me the property of that dimension new products so I can there's either a yes value if if it's a new product or it's blank if there's none. Now you would populate these num the this yes or no value within the model itself under this property. So what it allows you to do now is to make comments based on a filter for a property. So as you can see, I've already left a comment with this proper under this property under new products. Now I can filter that out. Now if I take off the yes, filter out yes, and you can see that's that's no longer filtered and the comments not showing anymore because that's that's filtered out <clears throat> the any new products. Now if I add that back in and I can actually take out the no value, you can see here we do have that comment there. Now you can have the table, if, if you don't want to include that within the table, the, the product dimension, you can certainly take it out and use a filter instead. So one other option you also have is to include a comment widget. So if I add a comment widget, <clears throat> Now this will this will pre-populate what's in right now uh, pre-populate to actual and gross margin from what I have over here. But you can see there's still not that common is not showing over here, and that's because if you look in the table, you can see <clears throat> the product is salt and vinegar, and and I have not selected that, so I would have to go over here and select salt and vinegar and the date itself is not selected so I have to go to the actual intersections of where that comment was left in order to see it again or in order to see it in the widget so now you can see that same comment is in the widget itself <clears throat> And the same filtering would apply if I take away yes uh, for the property. It does go away if I filter it back in. That comment shows again. So hopefully this will help you in, with some of your comments. And if you decide you want to filter on properties within a comment, uh, this will provide uh, that needed ability.